Live from our studios on Florida's Sun Coast, this is ABC 7 News at Noon. Your Sun Coast News. We're here for you. Do you know exactly what is in your food or what's not? Well, according to some nutrition experts, what you eat and even your daily activities can deprive you of some certain nutrients. And here to talk about that are the authors of this new book, Naked Calories, Mira and Jason Colton. And thanks for being with us. Thanks for, thanks having, for us. having us. All right, first of all, the book is called Naked Calories. So let's talk about what is a naked calorie. Well, a naked calorie refers to really any food that's had, that's had its micronutrients stripped from it. So you're kind of left with calories, but those essential micronutrients micronutrients, which are our vitamins, minerals, and essential fatty acids, have been depleted from the foods, and which we need for to, to, to stay healthy. And how do we know if we're eating foods that, that do have these naked calories in them? Well, naked calories are a lot of found in a lot of processed foods. Mm -hmm. So if you're buying things in boxes and bags that are coming frozen, that have traveled thousands of miles to get to you, chances are you're eating a lot of naked calories. Mm -hmm. So it's better to find things that are all natural, that are grown locally organic. These things will help to increase the nutrient level. Okay, and what got you all interested in, in studying this? Well, it started when I turned 30, actually. I uh, went to the doctor, and I found out that I had the bone density of an 80-year-old woman. So I was told I had advanced osteoporosis, at which point I was told I had to be on medication for the rest of my life. And that just didn't suit me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I decided to um, find Jason, who is uh, already working with clients in nutrition. And we started to really study you know, what it was that was making me sick. And we did found out that it was actually the fact that I had poor lifestyle habits, poor dietary habits, and I was really, really deficient in my micronutrients. OK, and let's talk about some of those lifestyle habits, not just what you're eating, but how what you're doing could affect this. Right, and so many of these lifestyle habits are things that we never think about. For instance, dieting and exercise. We think of dieting and exercise as things that are good for us. But when we diet, we eat less food. And less food just equates to less micronutrients. Same thing with exercise. We get out there, we run, we exercise, we have fun, but we're burning or utilizing though that calcium and magnesium and iron at the same time. So we have to be aware that when we do these things, we have to replenish those micronutrients. And let's talk about that. How do we replenish? Well, that's supplementation. Our first thing is always food. Mm -hmm. We want to really make sure that everyone understands it's food first. Mm -hmm. Because a poor diet is just that. It's not going to set you up for anything positive. So it's food first and then taking the responsibility for those lifestyle habits that you have. And the last thing is supplementation to make up that window as this is an insurance policy. But not all supplements are the same. Mm -hmm. So you really want to stress that there's the ABCs of optical supplementation that we go over in the book. Mm -hmm. And that teaches you how to find a supplement that's actually absorbed into your body that's actually going to give you those nutrients that we're all so deficient in. And that's probably something you should discuss with your doctor or dietitian. What, what do you recommend? Well, absolutely. You should definitely be talking to your doctor about this and, and, or, and or a dietitian or nutritionist. Um, this is something that a lot of people haven't thought about. You know, they go out there and say, how am I going to become healthy? Maybe I'll just get on a diet. But really sit down with somebody who understands nutrition. In fact, a great place to go to, to start with is ColtonNutrition.com, which is our website. And we have something called a micronutrient sufficiency profile quiz. It's absolutely free. You can take it. It's about 50 questions. And we'll send you an analysis of how deficient or sufficient you are in your micronutrients. And that's a great first place to start. Okay, all right. That's a good way to start <laughs> off the new year That's by right. watching Absolutely. what we're eating and really looking at it. Thank you all for being with us. Thanks for having us. Oh, thanks me. so much. We'll be right back.